In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips to clean up your selections, get crisp edges, and nice, clean, perfect cutouts. This is not a tutorial on making selections. This is a tutorial on cleaning up the selections and getting those edges just how you like them. All right, so we've got a selection here, and now we're gonna create the mask. Always use a mask, don't hit the delete key. So sometimes it can be difficult to visualize where the transparency is and where it isn't, so we can spot troubled areas. Here's a little trick, select the mask, then go under the effects, and then add a stroke. And then for color, give it something like a red or something that stands out, which is what we're doing here. And now you can adjust it to a smaller one so you can see all the little spots that we left over. And at that point, if we want to get rid of them, you're just gonna paint with black. And as I paint with black, notice those little spots disappear. And then when we're done, just delete that stroke. And now we've got a nice clean mask. All right, let's go into select a mask. And if we want to see the edges, we can go under view and we can change it to either on black or on white until we can see the issues. And here we go. We've got a colored fringe around there. We see all these colored fringes all the way around. To get rid of it, just go in the properties panel, click on decontaminate colors, and it will get rid of those colored edges. And at that point, you're just going to do a new layer of layer mask. And if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. So this tip is blending something in seamlessly to the background. So we're going to make the selection pretty quick. We're just going to grab a select subject for now. So we're just going to grab a select subject, pop it on a mask. Okay, so when, when we look at it up close, notice these edges are pretty good, but certainly not blending in beautifully. So here's what I like to do. I like to select the object. Now I'm gonna inverse the selection. So we're gonna choose select inverse. So now we've selected everything but the person. Now we wanna compress into the person. So we're gonna expand the selection by one pixel. So we're gonna choose select modify, expand, we're going to expand it by one pixel. See, now it's one pixel in here. But now what I want to do is I want to feather that. So I'm going to choose Select, Modify, Feather. And we're now going to feather this by one pixel. So now it's a softer edge. All right, so we want to take this away. So we're painting on the mask. We're going to choose black as the foreground color. Okay, so I've got a brush and we set black as a foreground color and now we can just paint in there to just kind of clean this up. But you can't really see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is hit Control H or Command H and I'm just gonna to choose to hide extras. That selection is still active. We just can't see it and watch what happens when I go into clean up around here, look at this. So we can go around these areas now and just paint in there and we're just painting into that one pixel. Let's look at the helmet and look how beautiful and smooth that appears now. And the nice thing about painting on it manually and not just hitting the delete key is we can literally go around the image and see where do we want to add it. Look at this jacket. Look how this just beautifully just blends in now. And as we zoom out and we start to look at some of those areas we painted around, see how it just beautifully just blends into the background instead of having that jaggy edge. All right, here's the selection. Uh, just so we can see the edges easier, I'm just gonna add a solid color underneath. So let's go under the solid color adjustment layer and we'll do something like a bright red. Click okay, drag it underneath. All right, let's zoom in on this part here. See, we've got a rough edge there. You can see we've got some you know, fringes and stuff on the edge there. We wanna clean it up. So we're gonna select that mask. We're gonna add a little bit of a blur. We're gonna choose filter blur and grab a Gaussian blur. One to one and a half. Let's do one and a half. Now it'll just kind of blur that mask. So we're working on the mask. We've selected it. The black areas are going to be transparent. White areas are going to be showing. If I alt or option click, we can see there's the mask and there's that edge. Okay, watch this. Control L or Command L for levels. 
And what we want to do is we're going to clean this up. We're going to take the black and drag it in a little bit. Notice as we do that, see how this retreats into the image. Look. We take the white one. Look at this. And then we can take the middle slider and notice we can expand or we can contract that edge just by dragging that middle slider. And then we're just going to choke that mask right down so we get rid of that fringe. Click OK and we can see that that is a nice clean edge now. Sometimes a challenge we may face is lots of little bits that need to be cleaned up. And let me just use a color range to demonstrate this. Yes, there's other ways I could select this using sky select or whatever, but the goal here is not to cut out the sky, it's to show you this tip. So let's just use select color range to get some kind of a selections. We're going to click up here into the clouds and we're going to hit the plus and then we can just kind of drag that to add to these selection. All right, it's looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit more there. All right, click OK. So we've got the selection active here. Let's just turn it into a mask. So I'm just going to click on the layer mask. Now let's actually invert this. So we're just going to hit Control I. So what we're trying to do is cut out the sky. See how we've got these little bits left over. So let's choose the mask by holding the Alt or the Option key, clicking on the mask. Now we can see the black and white. So I could go through here and I could manually paint on here and I probably still will have to do some of it, but there's so many little pieces like up here, there, little bits here. Some of them are very hard to see. So we can do a lot of this cleanup even around this area here by hitting Control L for levels. That would be Command L on Mac. And so say we want to clean up these blacks and get rid of some of the grays. On the levels, the left side is the black. On the right side, it's white. If we drag this over, notice how we can just pull that across. So we pull this across and notice it cleans up. Yes, there's still going to be a little bit of brush work, but we've got all those tiny little speckles are reduced. What about here? We've got all these little bits of black here in that white area, and we want to clean that up. Go to the white side, pull it across, and notice it just kind of plugs it up a little bit. And in fact, if you want to get an even better result easier, just go in here and add a little bit of blur first. We're going to choose Filter Blur. Give it a little bit of Gaussian Blur. Not, not a ton, just a little bit. Like maybe that's enough. And then we go in here into the levels again, control L, clean up those areas of black, clean up these areas of white. Look at that. Those just close up really quite nicely now because of that blur. And then obviously, you know, we're going to go in and do a little manual work. And then when we look at the mask, there we go. And we know we don't have like lots of little semi-transparent areas there because hitting that level's just kind of cleaned up that mask quickly. All right, drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite tip was. And if you've got any cleanup tips of your own, drop them in there. We'd love to read them. And by the way, this was not a tutorial on making selections. It was a tutorial on how to refine and clean up the selections. If you want a tutorial on making selections, check out this one. And if you're new, welcome to the cafe. Great to have you here. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my videos. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.